Hello, my name is Nikolai Yusupov. I'm a critical care paramedic and a registered nurse in New York City. And in this video, I'd like to show you how to connect inline nebulizer to a patient uh, who is on TV 1200 circuit. Uh, imagine you have the following scenario. You're called for respiratory emergency in the nursing facility. You come, you assess the patient, and you find a patient who has COPD. You use a ventilator. Uh, obviously, the first thing you do, you disconnect the ventilator and make sure uh, there's no problems. Uh, so there's no problems with the ventilator. Uh, you auscultate the patient's lungs and you hear wheezing. The patient has trach uh, tracheostomy and he's being vented on the ventilator. So patients who have uh, COPD, they need uh, that expiratory time, right? And you coming in there with the BVM and forcing all that pressure and uh, high respiratory rates is not giving them uh, any relief for the problems that they're having. So I would urge you, if there's no problem with the ventilator and you disconnect, then you check that out and you hear wheezing, the uh, patient needs nebulization. So he needs albuterol, he needs epitropium, and he wants to be on the ventilator and you have to deliver this through the nebulizer. So how would you do about setting this up? Uh, you connected your circuit and you put the appropriate settings. So come here, I wanna show you uh, a few things. So here, we have the circuit. Here, we have the expiratory limb. So this is the part where the patient exhales. This is the inspiratory limb. This is where the ventilator takes the uh, air and oxygen, blends it, and supplies it to the patient. Um, so we're going to connect the nebulizer to the inspiratory limb of the circuit. And uh, this is the instruction per the manufacturer of the circuit. And they'll show you exactly right here you see the nebulizer option uh, where it's connected and obviously you see this is the expiratory limb and this is the inspiratory limb. So the nebulizer is connected to the inspiratory limb. So what are we going to do? You're going to take out your nebulizer, right? You have your uh, T-piece connection here. You have your tubing here. So you're going to connect it here. And even if the patient has uh, oxygen on 50 PSI port, you can still utilize this port here for your nebulizer. All right? So this is your connection. Uh, you took your albuterol, you took your hypotropium, the combivan treatment. You open this up and you put your medication. Close this here, right? The next thing you're going to do, right, you're going to look, all right, this is the expiratory limb, this is the inspiratory limb. We're going to disassemble this from this part. Disassemble. One, two. So the ventilator just beeps that it senses uh, disconnect, but we know we disconnect it ourselves. So this is which you have at this current time. The patient is being vented on the ventilator and the nebulizer connected. You're going to simply turn this to six liters, right? So every time the breath is delivered, the patient is getting the medications. And if you look here, if you look here, you can see with every breath, the medication is full. Right? And the patient is able to exhale through the expiratory limb. Right? If you're going to need to give additional treatments, right, you'll obviously turn this off, put your albuterol epitropium, right? Reconnect it, turn it on. Right? Auscultate patients' lung sounds and hear the improvement of wheezing. Obviously monitor your SpO2, your ETCO2, right? And obviously you're looking at the patient's how he's going. So just again, uh, inline nebulization through the inspiratory limb, right? And the patient is getting the appropriate treatments for his exacerbation of COPD.